Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning data visualization using R and ggplot2. In this session, we will learn how to use summary stat function to get bar plot from the unsummarized data. I will see that, see the head of iris data set which we are going to use. This iris data set contains four numeric variables where length of different flower organs like sepal and petal are measured. If you want to know more about that, we will go for the summary. I will type the data set name again. And you can see here that three species are there. The observations are there for Setosa, 50 observations are there for Versicolor, and 50 observations are there for Virginica. Four numeric variable, one categorical variable. And we want to plot the, the summary of that uh, numerical variable uh, for all these three species. And for that, we'll require ggplot2 package, library ggplot2. And please note here that we are not summarizing the data. We'll run that. And it is saying that there is no package called ggplot2. I have to install the package ggplot2. Go to tools, click install packages, type package name there, ggplot2, and run that. Install. It will get installed. And along with it, it may install many of its dependencies. And it may take some time for all those dependencies to get installed on your system. Uh, the library has been fetched in memory of my system. Now here, I will use the function ggplot first. This is the base function. Takes first argument as data, that data iris. And aesthetic mapping, it will require mapping is equal to AES. I can directly write AES because I am writing the arguments in their uh, specific order only. First argument for AES is the x-axis that will be species and y-axis that will be sepal dot length. I will go to the plus. I will write stat summary and in bracket we'll have to uh, write the function inverted quote mean. And we'll run this and we'll see what happens. And it has shown us these points. We don't want these points. We want these points to be shown as bar plots. And for that, we'll use here because default geom is points. And geom is equal to all I will select for columns and we'll run that. And you can see that we have got the bars. If you want to add error bars. I will use the this plus uh, symbol to add layer. Again, stat summary I will use. And in stat summary, I will use the function. Function is equal to, not function. This time I want to calculate mean and error together to get the error plot. Error bars. Function dot data is equal to in bracket mean underscore AC. And I will use the geom is equal to error bar to get the error bar and we'll run this and you can see here we have got the error bars on those uh, at top of those bars okay we have not uh, specified the uh, y mean or y max as we do in the geom error bar function but in stat summary that data for mean and ac will be obtained from this function dot data and at the back end the uh, y min and y max will be calculated and will be shown here. This width of the error bar is not good. Therefore, I will put the width is equal to uh, 0 0.2. I will do the work. Yeah, the, it looks good. Then thickness of this is also a uh, little less. Therefore, I will put that thickness as 2 and we'll see the effect. And uh, thickness two, 2 is quite a uh, larger one. I will use 1. And now we can customize this as per our requirement. And the first customization I will do is the theme. I will define the theme as theme classic because I like this theme. And uh, this plot is there. Up to this session, we have just plotted sepal length of iris data set. And this sepal length we plotted along the three species. Now we want to plot each of these variables, sepal width also, petal length also, petal width also. And we have to show their summary as bar plots. 
Now to that, to do that, we need to convert this wide table into long table. Wide tables means the length measurements are separated in four different columns. We want to gather those together so that we will get a long table where all the length values will be in one column and all the names of these columns, which are parts of the variable called as measurements, will be in one separate column. And for that, we'll use library tidier. And I will type that in script window library tidier and run that line. If you have not installed tidier, just go to tools, click install packages, and type tidier there. Package will get installed as usual. Okay, all its instances will also get installed. Now, uh, I will save the object as iris long and to that I will provide the data set iris and this data set I will pipe in. This is the pipe in operator and this data set will enter into the next function. That next function will be pivot longer and in pivot longer, I want the columns to be gathered. Those columns are one to four. The first four columns I want to gather. Then I want uh, their values to the variable, the spelling mistake is there, values to the variable length. Then I want their names, column names, names to argument is there. These names will go to the measurement. Yeah. And we'll run that and we'll see how that long table looks like. This iris long is there. I will run that. And you can see that all those uh, measurements are there. The floor or this sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width are there in their own column. It's a categorical column now, character column now. And length variable is there, which contain all the length measurements of those entire floor, uh, floor parts. Now, we'll have the digit plot again, gate. Uh, now, instead of typing the code, I will just copy this code so that my work will become easier. And less laborious. I will paste the code. This iris, I will make iris long. And spaces will keep as such. Instead of stepper length, we'll have the length as the y-axis. And spaces will be the x-axis. The fill attribute. This field I will add map to the measurements column uh, so that those four different measurements will be shown as four different columns. Uh, we will run that, and we can see here that this bar plot, these plots are plotted as uh, stacked bar plots. We don't want those stacks, we want those to be separated from each other. Therefore, in this uh, layer where we have uh, plotted the column using geom call, we'll have the position argument. Position is equal to in inverted quote dodge. So that bars will get dodged. We'll run that. And now we can see that bars have got dodged. But these error bars have not got dodged. Those are there at the uh, center of this group. Okay. Do that, we'll use again position argument, but this time we have to use position dodge function also. Position dodge. And in that, we'll use width is equal to 9. Width is equal to 0 0.9. And this 0 0.9, because in this dodge, uh, where columns are dodged, the default value is 0 0.9. Same value we have to use in this uh, error bar geom also and we'll run that and you can see that error bars have got to their places nicely okay. this is how we can get a good bar plot with error bars bars without calculating summary explicitly summary will be calculated by the function summary style. and uh, that's all for this session if you are like this session please click the like button please share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet Thank you. Thanks again.